Welcome back to the channel folks, my name's Shane. Today I'm going to show you how to get Ubuntu or Pop OS onto a USB stick using an Apple Mac. Now the first thing that we need to do is get a USB stick, plug it in. Now this process will work with any distribution of Linux. As you can see on my desktop I've got two, I've got the Pop OS and I've got the Ubuntu 19.04 as well and you can see my USB stick just sitting under that. So the first thing we need to do is download a program called Etcher. I'll leave some links in the description below. Now this particular program's a little bit slow just to get going, or at least it is on my computer. So just bear with it. It does feel like it sort of hangs and stalls a little bit, but it does work. So we first selection that we have on Etcher is select image. So we click on that and then we just wait for a moment. <laughs> Now I've got both of these on the desktop. If you've got them in your downloads folder, just click towards there. I'm just going to do the pop installer here. Click open. If you've got more than one USB stick or an external drive connected to the Mac right now, you may have a different option selected in the center. If you do, select change and then point it towards the USB stick that you want to burn the image to and then click flash and then wait a few seconds. This particular part can take a while. You'll want to put in your password. As you can see, what's happening right now is Pop! OS is being installed into the USB stick. One of the cool things about this process is it will actually change the formatting to a boot disk. So when you plug it into your desktop to test it out and all that kind of stuff, it's going to work. But the interesting thing about it is it won't work if you just plug it straight back into the Mac. It will say, do you wish to initialize the disk? If you see that error or message come up, select no. <laughs> Otherwise, you've got to start the process again. So just make sure you don't reflash the disk after you, you've done this entire process. Once it's done, eject the disk and then you can plug it into your computer and you should be fine to go. I'm gonna test that out in just a moment. As you can see, we're done and it's just unmounted the disk. Now, this is an important part. The disk you inserted was not readable by the computer. Do you wish to initialize, ignore or eject? We're gonna click eject. If you click initialize, you'll have to do this all over again. Now the USB stick is now formatted to a master boot record format. So this means plugging it into a PC, it'll just work. So let's give this a shot. All right, let's install this. So let's say you've got Windows already open. We wanna go ahead and plug the USB stick into any USB port. Don't use a hub, just plug it directly into the computer and then click restart. Now every computer is a little bit different. So what you wanna do is take notice of the messages that come up once the computer reboots. Now to get to the boot options menu on my computer is F12. So I'm just gonna press that until we get into that option. Boot menu. There we go. Now we get a choice, which do we wanna boot from? So for me, it's the Kingston drive is the one that I've just plugged in. No, it's not, it's the SanDisk, my mistake. Here we go. And then we're on our way to installing Pop OS. Let's just give this a second. And boom, there's the live version of Pop OS, which we can then install if we so choose by following the installer. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. This particular process will work for any distribution of Linux. If you've got a Mac, this is the easiest way to get the operating system installer onto a USB stick, and then you can try it out on your PC or whatever you like. So thanks for watching, catch you soon. See ya. Thank you.